Where do you go when you're looking to have a fun-filled day with award-winning rides, amazing food, and wholesome entertainment, all while staying in budget? Welcome to Knobles. We just rode the Whipper. That's a lot of fun. Are you excited for today? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, let's go. If you haven't been, Knobles is an award-winning free admission amusement park nestled in the hills of Pennsylvania. It's one of the things they have here are these little boats you can ride around in. It goes right under this little kitty coaster. We've never been here on a Sunday, right? No. Or a weekend. Yeah, we're usually here when it's like quiet. And they have like a whole bunch of activities and stuff today. Not that they don't other days. This guy playing right now was on American Idol. It's pretty fascinating. It's oh, awesome. Fancy. Yeah. It's still a pretty quiet day. Like, there's a whole area. No one's no one's in it. Everyone's on the uh everyone's on the carousel. Which is probably the coolest carousel in the entire world, to be honest. So what's neat about this carousel is they actually have the rings that you can grab as you go by. If you get the brass ring, you can go for another ride. And then at the end of the ride, you throw them into the lion's mouth. It's pretty cool. Not too many places you can do this anymore. Let's see if we can get them throwing the rings back in the lion's mouth and then also getting the rings out of the, that little slot that's right over there. The inside horses go up and down and the outside ones are stationary so you can like lean over a little bit more effectively and grab some rings. So cool, but I would never do that, would you? I have very Richard. short arms. Yeah, and I would just fall off the horse. <laughs> I can tell it's been raining the past day or two, uh, just a little bit, but this is the creek that goes through Knobles, the covered bridge. And it actually, through the park, you'll see like some flood markers. And that's actually, the park is flooded a few times. And those are the markers from the water level you can find those on the bridge and through the whole park. So we'll have to go find some of those. Hey, here's one of those markers. 2006, the water level was up to here. Look at that. It's like, that's like waist high. It's, it's like waist high on me. Yeah. And there's the 2006 level over here. And then look at the 1972. It was way up there. things that you stand next to to see if you're tall enough to ride the ride. <laughs> no, that's if you are tall enough to, to drown. wade in. How are you doing hanging out next to your friends? Yeah, yeah. BFF. You're just clowning around? Just clowning around. Like One of the reasons to come to Knobles is the food. Here's a rib BQ. Over there, there's Sundays at the mill. And right over there, there's a place you can get pierogies and I think the tri tater tots over there, a few other things, a walking taco. And there's so much food here. And there's pizza over there. And they have a new pizza place this year. So everyone's, it's like everyone's judging it <laughs> this year. And it's kind of funny to hear people talk about it as you walk around the park. One of the reasons to come to Knobles actually is the food. And sorry about the music behind, behind us, they always have performances and everything. But uh, yeah, funnel cake. Oh, okay. Amazing food. Uh, they've won the Golden Ticket Award, which is like an industry award for so many years. That looks so good. 
Is it horrible? It's so good. It's so bad that I should eat the whole thing. So I think we did a good job. I just checked my face for powdered sugar. <laughs> so behind me is Flying Turns, which isn't actually running today, but this is the reason why I found out about Knobles because I was watching the construction of this on uh, online on their website. This is the only type of coaster like this in the US as far as like a wooden coaster that is a bobsled type and there's actually no track. Uh, you know going up there's a track and uh, at the station but other than that it's a trackless ride and you go through like a whole bunch of curves and things. We actually just found this, there's an observation area for flying turns. You can actually come in here and look at it go by when it's running. Yeah, right here you can see the, the track. Wow. And all of these, they bent like using a steam process. So all the boards in here are bent with steam and then secured with these metal bars. Isn't that awesome? It took them so long to build this and so many, so much trial, trial and error that when uh, it, just riding it, it feels like you can feel, you can feel the love that they put into this. All right, we were actually here yesterday and this is like the first ride, ride we rode because you just have to. It is so much fun. It is, it's very classic. Classic haunted house, kind of cheesy in like an amazing way, but genuinely a lot of jump scares. Yeah, it actually is the number one rated dark ride in the United States. It's a lot of fun. It is so, it is so much fun. Hey, yesterday there wasn't a line here at all. Today there's a, not a big line, but a line. One of the fun things they have here is the playhouse where you can actually participate. If you're a kid or adults, I've seen adults do that too. Yeah, plenty. Like, where they kind of tell a, a tale and, and you're part of the adventure. It's very it's Middle Earth themed. Oh, well, and then they do marionette puppet shows too. We're going to have to see if we can come back for one of those. I guess if we were wondering where everyone was, it's the log bloom. Everyone is not minding getting wet today. It's pretty hot. And it was crowded. I was wondering where everyone was, but this is it. They have an anthracite museum, so it's a history of coal mining and the Knobles History Museum. And they actually have a fortune teller over here. You're gonna get your fortune told by Pappy? Yeah, I would like Pappy to tell my fortune. Okay, Pappy. Pappy here at your service. Mark my words, it's better to okay. keep your mouth shut and be thought a fool then to open it and remove all doubt. Oh, that's right, friend. Happy, it's that's wise nice. to take good advice when you hear it, too. <laughs> Come on back, and I'll give you wisdom from down deep in them mines. Which... Ooh. Onyx was made especially for you. Wear it, and good luck will follow you. Don't let opportunity knock at your door in vain. Grasp it, and the course of your life will be different. <laughs> you will be very happy with the one you've chosen for your life's companion. Oh, that's Aww. true. Be patient. Those who have tried to interfere with your happiness will soon find they have no influence on your loved one. Now we're in the Anthracite Museum, which has a whole bunch of different artifacts from uh, someone's collection. This is actually someone's collection, and uh, it's really fascinating. Here's a bunch of helmets. Various helmets that were used in coal mines. And that is a <gasps> kerosene. Yeah, look at the kerosene lamp. Here, like basically how how mining the basic process was done. I can't even imagine. And then there's a giant dinosaur. 
here's a 250 million year old fossil. Look at that dinosaur. Oh my goodness, ferocious. We have everything here, like paperwork. There's a video you can watch. Some more artifacts over there. And over here, nice sculpture. And some safety equipment. That's the actual harness. Yeah. Um, so this is how we, you would rescue people, rescue workers from the mines. In, Look how small that hole is. Yeah, it was tiny. So they would harness the person and pull them up. There's like a whole section here. You, I mean, this is a definite must do of your economies. We're gonna go on Black Diamond, which is like one My of our favorite. favorite. Ride. <laughs> oh, it's your favorite. Yeah. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Coastery thing, but it's a dark ride. It takes... But it's so fun, and it's like it's super cheesy. It smells good because it yeah. smells kind of like dust. Yeah, greasy. And, and, yeah. yeah, it's just an enchanting ride. It's so fun. <laughs> so over here they have the cabins that you can actually stay in, and you just stay right on property. Like Black Diamond's right there, and then the uh, other ride is right here. What is that like the center of huge ride? And you can stay right here, and actually. This is what we're, we're going to give ourselves if, if and whenever we can actually get to a thousand subscribers. So hit subscribe below and we'll, we'll take you along on our adventure. We're probably gonna stay in the uh, uh, covered wagon one that's around the corner there. Uh, but yeah, if you wanna see that, hit subscribe. Thanks. I see the puppet show is going on. So let's go see. Our story starts with this blue thing in the middle. Can anybody guess what this blue thing is? water, that's right. What kind of a body of water, though? A lake. Mm -hmm. This is a lake, and no ordinary lake. This lake is filled with crystal clear, delicious water. The water is so clear, you can see straight to the bottom. And when you drink the water from the lake, it makes you feel happy. It also makes you feel strong. Filled and churned until it was no longer crystal clear water, but ugly, polluted water. The serpent and her minions jumped to their feet and let out a wicked laugh. <laughs> um, except for that one troll. <laughs> that troll was kind of sad because it was laundry day and, well, anyways. Now in the forest, there are lots of low branches. So they had to duck underneath some of the low hanging branches. There's also some really big logs. They had to take giant jumps over the logs. Sometimes they had to duck under a branch and jump over the log at the same time. As you can see, the bunny rabbit was having a very delightful time dancing through the forest. Now I think we're gonna go ride the Phoenix. I know it's not your favorite, but it's just right here. Here it is. It's a wooden coaster. See, it was 2021 best wooden coaster. Oh, there it goes. Over here they have a mock-up or a model of the Phoenix. This is the part you can't really see. The lift hole. Lift hill is way over here. And yeah, we're standing like right about well there ish. There's a pretty big roller coaster.
Yeah. I remember it being way, way worse. I think I got it down. So if you prop one foot in the front and then you like hold yourself in with your other calf and like clench as hard as it can. It has a lot of negative G's and you're never in your seat on that ride. No, <laughs> and it like so propels you forward too. So if you have short legs, you're like, maybe you'll die. And then, no, you just... <laughs> Keep your hands up and that's that's all you can do. <laughs> one little fact about the Phoenix is it actually came from another park. They have one of the old signs there. It says, visit Playland Park, ride the rocket, world's finest roller coaster. And this is, that's the same coaster as the Phoenix that was relocated here. Oh, there she goes again. Look, someone's having a party and their birthday pavilion is shaped like a birthday cake. It's so awesome. Can we pretend we know them? Yeah, look at that. I know. Let's pretend we know them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, we usually go eat at the wharf, but we're going to have to find some place else to eat. Looks like it's closed right now. It's still early in the year, though. I hope what opens up later in the year. We went to the Alamo, which it turns out is a sit down restaurant. We didn't really know it was there. <laughs> what, what it encompassed. <laughs> No basement. Oh, there's no basement? There's no basement in the Alamo. Oh, <laughs> yeah, but they did have good food. They did. Uh, they had a real black bean burger. It wasn't even a Beyond burger. It was an actual black bean burger. Yeah. It was very tasty. Then I had the Reuben, and that was delicious. A great way to uh, keep the day going. Yeah, and AC in there. Yeah. Pretty great. Yeah. yeah. The refills. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Free refills. What are you going to do? Free refills and Alright, so now we're going to go. Where do you wanna, what do you want to do next? Do you want to go on the trains or we go on the cars? That's a tough call. I like both of them. Yeah, let's go figure that out. So over there they have two people playing accordion. It's really awesome. And uh, then over here, the crystal pool hasn't opened yet. It's still early in the season. Then in the distance you can see Twister, which is one of their big wooden coasters. It's a lot of fun. A lot of, and it's aptly named it twists a lot, but we're actually gonna go look over here at the train ride. Did you know it was a one and a half mile train ride? Yeah, I didn't know. Yeah, that's impressive. Now, also impressive is the line. That's, <laughs> that's gonna be a little bit of a wait, but they do have a second train here, and that's just over that way in the park. And we're gonna walk to that one. This water fountain that's shaped like a well, it's called Ye Old Faceful. <laughs> That's cute. It's so funny. Over here, there's another one of those flood level meters. You can see like how high. This one's really good to compare with the levels of the water. That, that was pretty deep. Just for context, this is how tall I am. This is the 2011 flood level. What's really impressive about that is how much passion they have at keeping this park functioning after all those floods. It's amazing. I just, that's like, it just floors me every time I walk past one of those signs. Over here, they used to sell a lot of yard stuff like made out of wood, but now it's empty. But they do have the trolley that's been here, the streetcar. You can get a really good view of it. That is something else. That's pretty awesome. I mean, it's obviously not in very good shape, but it's pretty fascinating to see something like this. Finally gonna go ride the train. Are you excited? Old Smokey's up ahead.
wish we had time to do some mini golf, but it seems like we're always riding a train at the end of our day. <laughs> it's good way down the deck. Yeah. So we're glad you made it to the end of the video. Thanks for watching with us and coming along. What was your favorite part of the day? Black Diamond? Mm hmm Yeah. Sorry, milkshake. Oh yeah, we got a milkshake because we just can't resist. We yeah. ate so many yeah. calories today. So it's fine. Yeah. We walked it off. <laughs> but yeah, Black Diamond always. I yeah. love that ride so much. I don't understand why. It's so cheesy. It is but in the quick. Yeah. And I love the Carousel Museum too. Yeah. Oh yeah, we didn't even show the Carousel Museum. We might insert a few pictures, yeah. But yeah, and uh, I like the uh, Phoenix as usual. That's yeah. my favorite. I don't like it sitting is. down, so that's the whole thing. <laughs> I recognize that it's a good ride. I really yeah. do. It's just, uh, it scares me. All right. See you, see you next time. Bye.